So there's been a series of videos on this channel exploring possible alternative strings. From ribbon to twine to fishing line, we've gotten some interesting tones on the 25 and a half inch scale length, even some bass ones. But what if we were to say more than double that length, dropping the tuning potentially more than a full octave at the same tension? How would those materials react to longer wavelengths? Borrowing and brainstorming some ferromagnetic materials the piano string genstick's bass pickup would be able to hear, could we get some crazy alternative sub contrabass tones even? It's time this ridiculous six foot monstrosity finally got some attention as the new frontman in this area of experimentation. And with not even Kalium offering strings long enough to reach this long a length, it seems we may have to get creative finding our own string solutions from now on. I'm going to be covering each installation and demo one after the other with some timestamps below if you want to skip around. This is Kevin from Said Too Much. This one is pretty simple. Two strings, I want to say one is around 0.100 and one is around 0.130. The latter is tied to the former's ball end, giving us another ball end at one side, with some slight trimming and unwinding to fit things at the other. So like I did in the past, I cut a slot for a bass ball end to hook onto one end of the chain, and a single link can just rest in the bass machine head slit with enough resistance to tune up. Things didn't perfectly add up this time, so it's not resting on the saddle or connecting through the nut, but it's taut enough to still produce a note. Same idea as previously, but the smaller links could offer different overtones being able to bend more with more links in between. Things fit a little better than just a moment ago, but let's see if it's just more of the same. Almost like a plain steel guitar string, it's just a little stronger meant for heating coils. And like a guitar string, it fits easily into the machine head with a ball end tied at the other end.
I've actually tried two different sizes on the previous project and got just a little bit longer length of the thickest, trimming, unraveling, and tying a ball end just like last time. So this one is a big question mark, and exists as a ditch effort to round things out here. I know a strong enough magnet can ruin what's recorded on it, so simple tying two twisted strands at both ends should give us some results? So what do y'all think? Were there some promising tones here? Or should we just stick to experimenting exclusively with piano strings? It's always fun recording with this thing, trying to figure out how to get everything into frame. And it's a Pandora's box in terms of discovering new ways to play, or maybe not to. I've had a few of you share your own piano string genstick builds out there, and I encourage others to maybe try this for yourself at your own risk, of course. Referencing the build video, it was pretty simple to make, and you can join in on the subcontrabass final frontier here, if you can brave any potential hazards. Be sure to help me brainstorm more alternative string ideas to try in the comments, too. I actually wanted to try something that the mysterious band and instrument called the Motigrator uses, but I couldn't find enough information about it online, if you know what I'm talking about. In the future, we could try things like creating our own string winding systems, even. Or maybe you personally know of some smaller operations that could help out creating custom strings, too. For now, though, enough said. For early video access, raw instrument tracks, and more exclusives, find our community on Patreon and consider adding your support. Said so much!